In last lecture we have explained configuration of the TypeScript, not all of it, but some of the very important options. In this lecture we'll continue and we'll be talking more about TypeScript and how you can create your custom types. All right, so let's start in index.tsx file. Let's remove all of this code here, we don't need really. And we'll create one testing file where we'll put all of our uh, TypeScript uh, types. Okay, first, uh, okay, here is the error of the message because I have removed the variable here. Okay, message can also go, I'll just hard code here, hello world. Okay, and uh, let's create this testing file. So in our root folder of our project, I will simply click here, right click a new file and I will call it uh, playground.ts. So playground. Dot .ts, okay, and if I'm looking at this here, we have here still still this file test.d.ts, uh, this file, feel free, remove it, okay, so delete it, we don't need it. All right, in our playground.ts, we need to write some lines of code because we have already here some issues, so let's create here one function, we'll call it uh, play function, all right, and in this function we'll be putting the code and, then, and the types we'll define here. Okay, first I need to export this. Okay, so I'll write here export default function play. Okay, and let's write here console log and let's say hello world. <laughs> console log and hello world. All right, like this. Hello world. Uh, I will import it into our index.tsx file so we can test it out if you're seeing this console log. If you want to put some code to be run only in your browser environment. Uh, you need to wrap it in a use effect hook function. So you need to import use effect from React or just write here use effect, and they should be auto imported for you. So import in a curly brackets use effect from React. Now we can call here use effect. To the use effect, we will provide a arrow function and dependency array, and this will be empty. So this means use effect callback function will be called only once. Okay, now we can call here a play function like this. And don't forget to import it from the playground, okay? So import play from playground. Okay, now we can save it and we can test it out. So let's open your browsers, please. Let's refresh here and let's open your development windows. So right click here, inspect, and let's see console here. Console, and you should see here, hello world. Okay, so our environment is prepared. We can create a new types. So we can talk about them. And I need to here, here to provide you information that Next, around 30, 40 lectures will be solely, purely about the TypeScript. We'll be not adding any new features in our application, but I need to explain you basics of TypeScript, what types you can create and what options you have. So then when you'll be creating a real application, you will not get lost. These lectures are completely optional, so you can decide if you want to watch them or not, or maybe you want to skip them and then you can get back to them later as you will be working on application. All the lectures in this course will be marked with the AI. So if you the name of the lecture starting with the AI means additional information lecture. And this lecture is free, free to skip. Okay, so all of these types of lecture will be marked as the AI you, uh, that are free to script and you can just work on the on the application. And if you need, you can just maybe some later on some types are not clear, I can point you to some additional information lecture you need to watch in order to understand some specific knowledge. Okay, so uh, with all of this, now when we see hello world in our console logs, uh, we can continue next lecture and we'll be, we'll be defining some new types in a TypeScript. So see you there. Cheers.